I just wanted to show you this cool uh, multimeter that I recently got. Um, it's by FLIR. And not only is it, is it a good multimeter, it has all the same functions as a normal multimeter, but it also has an infrared camera on it, which I will turn on here. And you can see, if I point it um, to the heater, you can see the heater is showing hot. Uh, I've got the heater on here, it's like a panel heater. Um, so let's see here, can you see it in the video? There we go. Um, you can see the screen there, see the red? So you can kind of see without touching a heater or like let's say you have a tube amplifier or something, you can kind of see if it's hot just by using thermal imaging. See the red part means it's hot. If I go over here to my computer, you can kind of see here, the screen of the iMac is showing that it's warm. Um, so the green is sort of in the middle of the range and that is warm, whereas red is hot. And then of course, as you get colder, it gets more um, like uh, blue. So here's my Corhigo TT. You can see that's warm, but not hot. And the surrounding area around it is blue, which means it's cold. So it's kind of cool. Um, if I can, I'll try to post a link to this, um, but it's just, you know, good multimeter. But then also you have the advantage of having the thermal imaging as well. So, you you know, it's got a normal multi, it's got the normal multimeter leads here, as you can see. It's good. It's a good tool to have. Um, this one also has the clamps too, um, for um, checking uh, wires that way. Um, but I really like the um, thermal imaging feature. I think that's uh, really handy, especially if you have like tube amplifiers, because then you can actually um, see if the tube amplifier is um, warm before actually going to touch it. You know, without burning yourself. See you in my next video.